presentation is on association of P53 gene mutation in various eyelid carcinomas by Dr. Sanjay Bosak. Good morning to all. Uh, I am uh, going to talk uh, about the association of P53 <laughs> mutation in various eyelid carcinomas. Uh, uh, eyelid, eyelid tumors are most frequently observed in ophthalmic practice, accounting for 5% of all skin cancers. In United States, basal cell carcinoma is the most common human eyelid cancer, accounting for 90% of the eyelid tumors. Squamous cell carcinoma is the second most common malignancy of eyelid, in, uh, eyelid cancer in uh, Caucasian, accounting for 10 to 20% of malignant tumors and 5% of eyelid tumors. Potentially, the sebaceous gland carcinoma is more fatal eyelid malignancy ac accounting for only 1% in United States. However, in Asia, the sebaceous gland carcinoma is the most common malignant tumor uh, representing about 25 to 40% of all malignant eyelid tumors. Malignant melanoma is uh, encountered rarely representing 1% of all malignancy but contributes a more higher proportion of death. It is a well-known fact that the carci carcinogenesis starts with genetic alteration in either one of the gene, which are proto-oncogene, DNA repair, uh, repair gene, and tumor suppressor gene. The tumor proteins P53 is a well-known tumor suppressor gene and has been associated with a variety of cancers. The gene was first discovered in 1979. The P53 gene is regarded as the guardian of genome normally kept at low level in healthy cells, but uh, activated by oxidative stress and DNA damage. The P P53 gene induces apoptosis when DNA damage occurs, but may lead to uncontrolled proliferation of cells and genetic instability when it fails. The P53 mutations in sebaceous gland carcinoma, as suggested by its overexpression, indicate it is to have a possibly key role in UV radiation exposure and subsequent signal alteration. The present, present study aimed to determine the frequency of P53 gene mutation in various eyelid carcinomas and to investigate its clinico-pathological correlations and prognostic significances in a clinical population comprised of normal uh, North Indian region. Material and method used for this. Uh, this is a cross-sectional hospital-based study was conducted over one year uh, <laughs> in the Department of Ophthalmology, uh, RIO, IMS, BHU. The study was conducted following the declaration of Helmsky and approved by Ethical Committee of IMS, BHU. All the patients were uh, enrolled after getting the informed consent. The sample was collected from patients with various eyelid carcinomas with selected according to inclusion and exclusion criteria. 20 newly diagnosed and histologically confirmed patients with primary eyelid carcinoma without earlier exposure to chemotherapy or radiotherapy were in included in the present study. The detailed clinic clinical radiological finding of all patients were recorded. These samples were taken either by incisional or excisional, excisional biopsy the hematoxylene and eosin stand sections were examined to confirm the pathological diagnosis and to find out histo histopathological differentiations. F uh, FNAC was done from metastatic lymph node whenever present. The TNM staging was done according to the guidelines of AJCCS. Blood sampling and DNA isolation. 3 to 5 ml uh, peripheral venous blood was collected under a septic precaution from all patients in EDTA coated vials uh, through venopuncture of anticubital vein. DNA isolation was done following a standard protocol and dissolved in trice EDTA buffer. It was followed by measurement of DNA concentration by nano drop spectrometer. Mutation analysis and sequencing. The mutation analysis of P53 gene of patients was carried out by amplifying target region that is exon 5 to 9 and intervening intronic using polymerase chain reaction and screening of mutations by sequencing. 
primers used for PCR amplification of target region were designed using primer 3 software version 4. For P53 gene exon 5 to 9 using sequence from the NCBI gene and the primer were <coughs> primers were used amplifying by thermocycler. DNA sequencing was used to screening or verify the candidate gene, candidate gene in the uh, relevant affected individual. PCR products were first purified by using exosub protocol. Uh, briefly, PCR uh, amplified DNA fragments were subjected to agarose gel electrophoresis purified and sequenced using Sanger DNA sequencing method. Data analysis was performed by software Finch TV viewer. The chi-square test for equal proportions and Fisher's exact probability test was used for categorical variables. P53 uh, p value less than 0 0.5, 0 0.05 were considered statistically significant. Statistical analysis in the present study was carried out by using SPSS 19 packages. Uh, the is results of this study is, in the present study, a cohort of 20 patients who had controlled with various types of eyelid carcinoma were enrolled. Out of these, 25% were male and 75% were female in the group, age group 31 to 80 years. The maximum case, case occurrence were noted in the age group of 61 to 70. The frequency of eyelid carcinoma tended to increase with age. The majority of patients belongs to lower socio socioeconomic status and rural background. All patients had unilateral involvement, about 40% had a right eye involvement while 60% had left eye involvement as shown in the table 1. The uh, male is 25% only and the female is 75% and the maximum is 40% uh, in 61 to 70 years group and uh, rural background uh, are the major patients. Uh, histopathological uh, examination saw uh, Contribution of sebaceous gland carcinoma to be most prevalent, followed by vessel cell carcinoma, that is 45%, and squamous cell carcinoma is 5%. That is uh, max, maximum uh, contribution is of 50% in sebaceous gland carcinoma in our study. Surprisingly, most of the sebaceous gland carcinoma observed were in the upper lid, while vessel cell carcinoma in the lower lid. This is the uh, microphotographs of uh, histological section. Uh, that is uh, B number, that is uh, uh, sebaceous gland carcinoma moderately differentiated showing lobulated uh, lobules of malignant cells with sebaceous differentiation and basal cell carcinoma showing uh, ne nests of pigment laden atypical basal cell. PCR amplified exons 5 to 9 of the P53 gene were separated on 2% agarose gel and sequenced. The multiple sequence alignment found no sequence sequential variation, sequence variation in exon 5, 6, and 9 of the gene. The uh, GT transversion were uh, identified in exon 7 and at of 4% uh, only in 8 patient. Could you sum up? Yeah, could you sum up? Uh, Time is over. Thank you. Actually, uh, in our study, we found uh, there is uh, total uh, um, genetic mutations in uh, 14, that is six in, uh, six is uh, exonic variation and uh, eight is intronic variation. We found uh, five, uh, in six exonic variation, five is frame shift mutation and one is, uh, there is uh, deletion uh, in one case. So, uh, and uh, by this study we can assess the, uh, we can uh, say that P53 gene can be a, a marker and we can assess the uh, tumors earlier by this. Okay, thank you. So, uh, what is the novelty of this study? Novelty is, uh, uh, there is uh, more than, uh, actually uh, the novel uh, poly uh, polymorphic uh, genetic variation is not causing the cancerous almost all time because it is environmental change uh, due to environmental changes there may be uh, novel variations okay thank you